Is Max Holloway going to be a two-time champion or is he getting put to sleep? Before I make my predictions for UFC 308, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as I have brand new videos every single week. So UFC 308 is set to be a fantastic card, but let's take a look and see what we've got in store. In the main event, we have Illa Taporia defending the featherweight belt against BMF champion Max Holloway. This is going to be a fantastic fight. A finishing machine against the man who can't be finished. This is an incredibly difficult fight to pick though. Ilya is probably a more well-rounded fighter. He's got fantastic KO power and great submissions under his belt. But Max Holloway has drastically more experience at that highest level and he's gone to the fifth round 10 times in his career whereas Ilya has only got there once. Of course you can say well Ilya's got all of these finishes so he's never needed to go that far or at least he's not needed to go to that far that often but Max doesn't get finished. He's been what dropped once in his entire career and I think he's been submitted once. So I'm interested to see how Ilya manages those adjustments over five rounds. The only five round fight that we've seen him go to is with Josh Emmett and Josh as fun as he is to watch just does the same thing on loop he's constantly chasing that big overarm so we know what he's going to do so Ilya didn't have to make those huge adjustments whereas with Max Max will adjust on the fly so it'll be interesting to see how Ilya deals with that and now Looking at the level of competition, Max has fought the best of the best in his division and he's even stepped up to lightweight and put on an amazing performance against Justin Gage. He was like ultra instinct Goku or something. It's probably the best Max has ever looked in his career. Though, of course, Ilya did beat the man who beat Max three times. Alexander Volkanovsky. Ilya finished one of, if not the best featherweight to ever step in the octagon in devastating fashion. And I don't mean to downplay Ilya's win over Volk because it was fantastic, but I wonder, would he have got that finish if Volk hadn't have already come off a KO loss to Islam Makachev and not had much recovery time? I don't think he would have done, but it's really hard to know. But I don't think this fight matters too much because obviously MMA maths never really adds up. There is a lot of what ifs in this fight and it could really go either way. But gun to my head, I'm going to pick Max Holloway by decision. I think a mixture of his durability, his experience, his decent takedown defense and his fantastic boxing will get him the win here. Now, let's move on to one of the scariest fights of the night for me. Robert Whittaker will be facing Hamza Chamayev. This is a huge opportunity for Hamza. If he gets the win here, his next fight is likely for a title. It's almost guaranteed. Hamza is incredibly dangerous, having 11 finishes in 13 fights. And I do worry that Bobby Knuckles will be the 12th person to be finished by Hamza. And it'll suck to see because I'm a huge fan of Whitaker, and I don't think I've still recovered from that Duplessis fight. But it's not all doom and gloom for Rob. He might just be able to get the win here. Hamzak comes out incredibly aggressive and burns through his gas tank very, very quickly. And he'll burn through it quickly because if he's going to beat Rob, he needs that early finish. If Rob can survive those first two rounds, I think it's plain sailing for him. Let's not forget, this is a five round fight and I'm not so sure Hamzak has the cardio management needed to last five rounds with Robert Whitaker. I think he'll just get pieced up as the fight goes on. And even though this is a very possible path for Rob, I just I don't see it happening. And I think that he is going to get finished. And I think he's going to get finished early. So I'm going to pick Hamzat Chamayev by KO in the second round. And it, honestly, it pains me to say it. And I really, really hope I'm wrong. Honestly, I hope Rob gets the win here. But we'll have to wait and see. Then we've got Laron Murphy versus Dan Ige, Dan has become an overnight fan favourite after going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Diego Lopez at UFC 303 and he looked phenomenal. But let's not forget, Lopez was training for a very, very different opponent and he had to cut weight 
twice in less than 48 hours. I think full camp versus full camp, Lopez absolutely destroys Ige. And I think Murphy destroys him as well. I'm a big fan of Murphy, and so maybe I'm just being a little bit biased because I'm always supportive of British fighters. But he's fantastic. He's really tall for the division he's got great striking and he's got some decent grappling as well so i think he's going to get the win here um i'm going to go decision for murphy and now let's move on to this fight which has to be the number one contender fight ankalaev versus ratchik i don't think i'm going to spend too much time on this one ankalaev is going to beat ratchik from pillar to post i think it's going to be a pure domination especially after ratchet's come off two big losses one was a big leg injury i think it was a knee injury and he was out for ages and he had a big ko loss to yuri and i think it's just difficult to recover physically when you've lost two back-to-back -back losses like that so i don't think he stands much of a chance here but i'm gonna go ankalaev by decision and then opening up the main card we have shara bullet versus armin i mean is there any point me even talking about this fight the ufc love feeding shara cans and he's clearly going to get the win here but man honestly i hate watching this guy fight he's a very one-dimensional striker who barely even throws a punch his grappling is shocking he cheated in his last fight and I, honestly i think he's just a bit of a scumbag i can't wait for him to step up and stop getting fed these cans because he's going to get absolutely demolished but he is going to get the win on saturday but overall though ufc 308 is an exciting card with some really fun fights on it thank you everyone for watching if you can like comment and subscribe it really does help the channel out